Hello, I'm the Resident Cartographer, and this is the 104th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series. Here we are at Camp McClintock, taking a look at the map. Here we are, to the north of Charleston, southeast of Flatwoods, southwest of Sutton, and uh, just to the west of Summersville. Okay, let's take a look at this place. You do come here during the main quest of uh, Vanilla Fallout 76, so likely anybody, everybody who's played the game has been through here. Well, not everybody. Everyone who's been through the main quest has been here. Uh, let's take a look at this, though. We got the uh, graduation ceremony holotape here. Let's play this. Camp McClintock has been training U.S. soldiers. U.S. Army soldiers for five glorious years. You, class, are the last graduates taught by honest-to-goodness human drill sergeants. Go out there and show them that the old ways are the good ways. I want you to... If I may interject, Sergeant, that'll be all. Thank you, thank you. I want to say, as your governor, I am enormously proud of all of Appalachia's sons and daughters today that are graduating. And I want to say the future of Appalachia is going to be even brighter as we bring in a new age of automation to train new soldiers for the fronts faster and more efficiently. But today, and tonight, is yours to celebrate. Thank you. So that gives you a little bit of the flavor of what was going on here. Uh, this was a training site, and it was a place that was also being converted with the automation that was taking place across the rest of Appalachia. Now, the enemies you're gonna face here, well, I mean, <laughs> really, you just have these robots floating around they're all friendly there uh, are some robots that will come in from the other side over here that are not friendly and when you're here doing the main quest you also do get attacked by some uh, communist robots <laughs> they're not really but anyway uh, in terms of what plants you can find here you can see some soot flowers right there rhododendron right down here along with that I also found wild mute fruit uh, some silt beans and logs technically not plants but you know nodes you can collect from all right so let's take a look at this place so yeah, we got all these robots floating around out here. We'll go around the exterior of the facility before we go to the uh, main building here. We have this tower here. Now when we come up here, there actually is some interesting stuff up here. I'm not sure why I'm having trouble negotiating these stairs at the moment, but anyway. Got some ammunition. Uh, and then, then right up here, you can sometimes find a mod. Not one today, though. Anyway, though, we, uh, again, ammo there. We can come out here and get a nice look at the facility. I don't know if we'll see these, uh, robots that typically come over and attack me. Oh, Super Mutant today. Other five times, it's all always been a Protectron. Anyway, we'll head down here. Okay. And if we come over this way, we have the, uh, shooting range. Got an ammo vending machine right there. Some more ammunition lying around. This computer here is just uh, about the quest, so we're not gonna we're gonna ignore that. Uh, we got uh, another ammo box right there, and then if you head out here, there's really not too much out here. Nothing you can pick up anyway, just some targets. All right, actually there is one thing I almost forgot to show you. There are antlers out here, by the way, so there's some bone for you. But if we come out this way, past the fence. There's this little thing out here. I think this is one of the spots you can show up in uh, after you drink uh, Nuka Shine because there's a uh, Nuka Shine bottle down there. Oh, Red Roach. Okay. But yeah, some canned dog food. Is there another Red Roach? Okay. Anyway. And some teddy bears there. But let's head back over to the military base. Alright, coming off the shooting range, we'll head on over to the propaganda training area. So they would know how to hunt down the communist spies here. Patriotism training. Uh, if you've played through the main quest, you remember that you have to figure out which one of these supposed people is the spy. Uh, you can come through here and you can find these little notes, but again, these are specifically quest related, so I'm going to leave them alone. We won't read those in this case. You can come through here. Terminal is also completely connected to the quest. There is some uh, minor little bits of junk you can, can come through here and find, like the TV dinner tray and that watch right there. And then if we come through here, one final room. Again, just some junk on the walls and stuff. Alright, uh, some ammo right there, some water, and a uh, pitcher. Okay. Now if we go past that, we can go past these porta potties 
We'll check inside them real quick. Toilet paper in there. Dead soldier in there with a grenade. And uh, beer in that one. <laughs> so, uh, an APC right there. We'll go into this one. This Quonset hut here that they were using as a barracks. You can see they got some foot lockers with some stuff inside of them. Uh, something to note is that this place is a pretty good source of military ammo bags, which means it's a pretty good source of ballistic fiber. Along with that, they do have some uh, military duct tape, which again means more ballistic fiber. In fact, coming through here, I found 14 ballistic fiber, so it's a fairly good source. Uh, again, more junk in these things. For some reason, a hallucinogen gas container in that one. I'm not really sure why somebody out here would have a hallucinogen gas container. So there's some rat poison, so five lead in that. Oop. Coming back around here. We have the obstacle course here. You have to run through this, pressing the buttons as you go through it. Luckily, this thing is a lot less buggy than it used to be. It used to be, uh, I don't know, probably even if you still have connectivity issues, it probably still has some issues. But uh, anyway, we'll come back through here to the uh, live fire training room. Not training room, training ground. Okay. And you can see that it's constructed of uh, these little sheet metal shacks and the. Uh, these shipping containers and even in this area you can still find some useful stuff let's see where was it that I found it before I'll have to point it out there we go there's a military ammo bag right there and I think there's another one out here there he is yep two military ammo bags out here even in this live fire training area uh, they have those little bot spawner things that we got around here the bot pods that's where the communist robots come out to attack you Anyway, though, let's head back over to the main building. Okay, so here we are back at the main building. We'll go in the front door. All right. And there's now a, uh, a living person here. Still waiting here. on some orders, sir. Reasonable orders. And... Yeah, back uh, before Wastelanders, obviously there was nobody here. That person showed up with Wastelanders. Uh, some good junk at this location. You can come around here. There's another door out. That goes back over towards the uh, obstacle course. Coming back through here, we've got these little offices down here. Some microfilm readers there. Let's see, I think there's... No, it must be in a slightly different area. Alright, so one of the other things you can find here is a whole bunch of battered clipboards. Each one of these having one wood and one uh, screw. No, sorry. One spring, not one screw. And again, there are those ones back there. There are some right there. There's some more right there, so yeah, there are a lot of those things. If you're looking for springs, also a good location to come to. Uh, we've got uh, a flare right there for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, let's go over in here. Okay, so we've got uh, just this little room here with the workbench, well, workbenches, and uh, along with that we've got uh, some lockers. Uh, now you could potentially find a weapon plan right here, so I'll show you that. Okay. Uh, and then along with that, we've just got these other lockers, some sacks in that little container there. Coming through back in, in here, we got some ammunition. Now you can potentially find a magazine right over here. Alright, and again, another ammo, uh, military ammo bag there, more ammunition. A uh, uniform dispenser, that's related directly to the main quest. We've got a note here with the uh, uniform disbursement log, again directly related to the main quest, that helps you find one of the uh, uniform tokens so you can use the uniform dispenser. Okay, got some military grade duct tape there. And we can come up, up to the roof here. And you get another view of the area, you have this uh, fire escape to get down. And you could also just drop right in through that hole. But well, we're going to go back down in the way we came. Got a dead guy here on the roof with a bottle of vodka and a monkey wrench. Okay. We can come into this office. Got a uh, cooler there. Coming through here. Another little uh, storage area. Alright. And we got a uh, the Herald Supports Quinn Carter. I think we've read that enough on other videos. Uh, we have Master Sergeant Gutsy here. He is the uh, guy that you get your quest from when you show up here. Uh, there's also the safe over here. And if we come through here, we got the uh, bathroom. Now there's a note here that I was planning on reading. Let me see if I can't find it real quick and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so yeah, you just come out here and drop down. And right here at this desk, Sergeant Elk's Journal. Been a good chunk of time since the robots took over. 
process more recruits than I ever could since the bots don't need to sleep and we can sort of stagger everyone into day or night shifts. At least the recruits are full of fire with the war on. Can't say the same for myself. I've gained over 10 pounds thanks to how much sitting I do now. Used to be one of Uncle Sam's lean and mean killers. Now I'm packing away coffee and donuts like some damn desk jockey. So yeah, the uh, automation here was not potentially <laughs> not terribly good for the uh, Everything's fine here. for the upper levels fine. of the staff here. And uh, I mean, honestly, when you go through the training here, it's pretty quick. I I don't think that would actually be the the case for all all the people going through the training during normal times. But I mean, for the game, they don't want to actually have you be out here for six to eight weeks or whatever it would take to get through this program. Otherwise, um, I think that'll pretty much do it. Uh, I mean, we've got uh, just one more thing to show you here, which is the list of all the loot that I found here. All right, I think that'll do it. This has been the Resident Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.